So I've been on the lion diet for 17 days. I was going to do 30 days, but I can't do it. I've had enough. I am quitting. Hi, I'm Sue. If you haven't been to my channel before, um, I've been on the carnivore diet for about 16 months and I decided to try the lion diet and I was going to do 30 days, but I've done 17 days and I'm, I've had enough. Before I started on carnivore, I had um, a history of IBS diarrhea and anxiety along with a whole bunch of other health issues. And when I started on carnivore um, in May 2022, I initially was a bit better and then the diarrhea really kicked in and got really bad and was bad for about eight or nine months. But I persevered because a whole lot of other um, health issues were getting better and resolving. So I kind of knew I was on the right track, but the diarrhea was, was pretty bad and pretty hard to deal with. However, it did start to resolve um, towards the end of 2022 and it's been lots better and um, not perfect, but it's been a whole lot better. And so um, I thought things were, were pretty good and then I ended up with a histamine rash. Um, so I realised last year that part of what was going on with me with the diarrhoea was histamine. And when I was um, drinking my homemade bone broth, that was one of the things that was really setting it off. So I stopped drinking bone broth and then because the diarrhoea had all settled down, I started making bone broth again and I was fine for about, probably about two months. And then all of a sudden I just got this rash all over my, all over my body all over my arms, my body, right down to my knees. And it took about over two months for it to, to go away completely. Um, so that was probably about three months ago. And when that happened, I realized that my gut wasn't as healed as I thought that it was obviously because of the histamine issue. And so that was why I decided to try the lion diet um, in an effort to try and heal my gut up um, faster. And so, I jumped on and thought, okay, well, I'll, do, I'll do 30 days and then I will reintroduce food slowly and, um, you know, other carnivore foods and the berries. I've been eating berries uh, off and on the whole time because I found last year when the diarrhea was quite bad that the berries helped to slow that down. And I don't know whether it was the fibre or whether it was the oxalate uh, in the berries, but they definitely seemed to help for me anyway. So, um, so I'm going to reintroduce... I was going to re reintroduce all those foods just one at a time to see if any of any of what I've been eating was still causing inflammation or, or upsetting my body in any way. Now, since I've been on the lion diet, when I first started, the first day or two wasn't too bad, and then I started getting diarrhea again every day, and I've had diarrhea every day for the last 17 days. So uh, I have a new shop with some designs, especially for carnivores, and so these are some of the designs. So if you like the look of those, if you're after a gift for yourself or your favourite carnivore, check out my shop, carnivoregifts.myspreadshop.com. Um, and it's been quite hard to manage, quite unpredictable. Um, it's got a bit better, at, but it's still unpredictable. So it tends to be mostly only in the mornings again now, but it's unpredictable and it's doing my head in because, you know, as you can imagine, if, you, if you've had this problem, you know what it's like. If you haven't, if you can imagine having diarrhoea every day for months, <laughs> or years, it just starts to really, um, it's a huge stress and to go back to that is really um, messing with my head a bit. But also since I've been online, what I've been finding is that I think initially my energy was better. My sleep's been not too bad, um, pretty good, kind of, often I, it's been up and down to be honest when I think about it, it's been up and down. Um, the nights when I sleep well, I've been sleeping really well. I haven't been having to get up and go to the toilet during the night as much. Uh, I usually, since I've been on carnivore, I, it'll be either that I don't have to get up at all or once during the night, early hours of the morning, whereas since I've been on the lion diet, a lot of the time I don't have to get up. So I think there's something that was in my diet that was still causing a little bit of irritation there, maybe. Um, but the other thing is that I've had really sore muscles um, in my back. While I've been on carnivore, that inflammation has gradually been going down and been a lot better. But this last 17 days, my back has just got sore and sore and sore all across my shoulders. Um, it kind of moves. Sometimes it's my lower back, sometimes it's my upper back, and it's just driving me a bit nuts. 
Um, so, and I wake up with it in the morning. I wake up with this all, it's all back in the morning. So um, I kind of think that what's going on is probably to do with oxalate dumping uh, because I'm not having any oxalate at all. And so I decided this morning, I thought that's it, I've had enough. So I went and bought some blueberries and some strawberries. I thought I'll introduce the berries back first and see if that uh, makes a difference to the diarrhea. Uh, because they are, they are what seemed to make a difference last year uh, when I started having them again. And then I'll just introduce one thing at a time, some eggs, egg yolk probably, then egg white. I tried to try egg yolk because I haven't eaten any eggs since the middle of July, around the time that I got the, the rash. And because I suspected the eggs might be causing some problems, some inflammation. And so I hadn't had any, and then I had one egg yolk, probably maybe a week before I went on to the lion diet, and it seemed to be fine. I didn't have any issue with that. So I'll try the egg yolks again, and then I'll try the egg whites and see if the egg white might be a problem. Um, and then some dairy and different meats and see how I go. And I'll basically go back to the diet that I was eating, that I've been eating for the last year and a bit, because... It seemed to be mostly agreeing, unless there's something that I discover is causing me problems. Um, it seemed to be mostly pretty much agreeing with me and things were getting better and I was gradually dropping a bit of weight because that's the other thing, I'm quite impatient to lose some weight because it's been really slow, but it is what it is. Now, I was taking, in my last two videos, I think I spoke about taking berberine while, I was, while I've been on the lion diet. So I took the berberine only for five days and then I stopped a couple of days ago because I wasn't sure whether it was the berberine that was keeping the diarrhea going or because some people do get gut upsets initially on berberine. Uh, so whether it was that or whether it was still from the line diet. Now, when I started on the berberine, um, the third and fourth day, my belly just started grumbling and gurgling like really bad and really loud uh, constantly for pretty much 48 hours. And since then, my belly has still been kind of grumbly. Like even this morning it was going, um, it's settled down again now. So it'll, it'll start making a whole lot of noise when I'm gonna, when I've got the diarrhea basically, mostly. Um, and then it'll eventually settle down. So, um, so yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was the berberine or not, but I've been off for a, a couple of days now. I think the berberine was making me feel better overall, apart from my gut. Uh, it, I was kind of feeling calmer. I was feeling, feeling really pretty good while I was taking it. My blood glucose was amazing um, while I was taking it. I could eat a whole lot of meat and within an hour, within an hour I'd be down to 4.7, uh, which was fantastic. And so I'm going to, once, I'm, once I've sorted out which foods I'm going to keep eating, then I'm going to go back onto the berberine when I'm eating my normal diet and see how I go with that. Because berberine, the research shows that berberine helps with IBS diarrhea and it helps to, um, to correct your gut flora and it helps to heal leaky gut as well as helping with anxiety and lipids and all that sort of thing and blood glucose so so I want to give it a good go but I just I couldn't do it with the diarrhea um, but, and not knowing whether it was that that was a part of the problem or not so so that's where I am at today <laughs> um, and yeah so stopping the stopping the uh, lion diet and I might get I might go back to it another time when I'm further in and um, I don't know, maybe I might, I might not, there might not even be any need to, you know, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have a habit of making things probably harder than they need to be. Like I, I dive into something and, and do that and then if there's a harder way to do it, I'll freaking well try that. I, I do it all the time and then end up, end up going, hmm, I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on with my gut with this lion diet thing and why it's been so upset and seems to be not resolving and maybe even kind of feeling like it's getting a bit worse. I don't know. So yeah, um, maybe if I stuck it out longer, it might settle. But I, I'm just not in a not in the right place to do that. Last couple of days, I've been feeling really flat. That's the other thing is my um, head space has been not so good the last couple of days. Just feeling really flat, feeling like crying. Uh, no energy, did some exercise this morning, felt like crap after it. And so, yeah, I, I want to get back to feeling good. I was enjoying feeling good, enjoying not having diarrhea. And so I'll just have to be mindful of the histamine issues and 
yeah, pay attention to the foods that I'm eating and try and work out if there are any that are still having some kind of inflammatory effect on me. So yeah, so um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments or if you've tried the Lion Diet or if you have had any experiences like this, um, fire away below. And um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And anyone, if you have anyone that might be interested, uh, share this video with them as well. Um, I thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you again another day. Goodbye for now.